Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer. This time we're out in the field. We're just leaving Bishop, California, heading on West Line Street up towards Lake Sabrina. Well, why? Because we're gonna be looking at some glaciated features as well as some fall colors. So come join me on an adventure. All right, so we finally made it to Lake Sabrina. As we can see, we're getting towards the winter session, so the lake levels are very low. But I wanted to show you something about the ground. So when looking here, when we talk about glaciers, they're really, really large. So watch my heel. When I stick my heel in the ground, I can start making a small divot. We call that a cirque, because it means that it's an amphitheater shape. But as that glacier advances, it digs a trench. When that trench is being dug, it leaves material on either side. Those are called moraines, and the moraines are what we drove up in between to get up here. So Lake Sabrina itself is part of a cirque. That's what kind of envelops us all the way around. The lake, though, itself, in the middle, is called a tarn, and that happens after glaciation. So we get to see a couple things today. We're going to be able to see the cirque. We're going to be able to see the tarn within the cirque. We're going to be able to see also some other glaciated and glacier-made features such as arets and horns. But the big piece is fall colors. This is the peak time. So come on, let's go. Welcome to my favorite place in the Eastern Sierra, Lake Sabrina. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our day out in the field. You know, it was a little hazy that day, specifically because of the big fires that were in California, but I hope you still had a lot of fun like we did. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll talk soon. Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer again in the field. This time we're heading up to Lake Sabrina right outside of Bishop, California. Our, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna say. <laughs>